Oh, and they letting out school across the street. Great to see you, dude. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Excuse me. What up, guy? Your hand still dry? <laughs> Clickbait title of the century. Nah, this is just a little response to On Benjamin post on Instagram about me. Uh, on Benjamin, I know you in here. I'm going to read. I can't do the thing where I put the shit on the screen and tell you what he said, but. Hold on. He put, he put a picture of me up there. He said, and he mentioned me too. On, on being spelling 33. Hi, I am Barricade Garage. I am a convicted violent felon, a gangbanger, and probably a snitch. Hell yeah, there's no secret I'll tell on you. One of my best friends is a fucking cop. Shout out here, Billy Hart. I'm going to act offended by Owen Benjamin making fun of Jim Bob's wife, even though I more than likely have actually killed people. Nah, I haven't killed nobody. And I'm not offended that you made fun of Jim Bob's wife. Uh, I was just disappointed. It wasn't even about the wife. It was just I lost respect for you. Me losing respect for you has nothing to do with me being offended on behalf of somebody else that had words with you. It has to do with your behavior. It has to do with how you handle certain situations. Uh, these, this is how... Hold on. Let me get back home before I go into that. Oh, I might have to start from the top again. That 99 people in here? Man, hell no, I'm about to cut the stream. Man, no, nah, fuck no. Nah. 110. Y'all don't give a fuck about me. Drama alert. This isn't even drama. This isn't even drama. Hold on, I lost the page. Hold on, let me pull it back up. Yeah, I'm a convicted violent felon. A gang. No, for those of you, just he he put a picture of me on his Instagram, 
And then he tagged me in the shit. He said, I'm, I'm a convicted felon, a gangbanger, probably a snitch. I'm going to act offended by Owen Benjamin making fun of Jim Bob's wife, even though I more than likely have killed people. I run a grift for low status white Christians. Yeah, Owen Benjamin said, I run a grift for low status white Christians. Even though I'm not a Christian and have never claimed to be a Christian. That was, that was funny. Yeah, even though I run a grift for low status white Christians. So to keep my grift going, I'm going to talk street, even though I'm probably a snitch. Yes, I will tell on you. And pretend the same things offend me that offend my cuck audience. So you people are cucks and I'm pretending to be offended by the same thing that you people are offended by. I've done hard prison time. I've never done hard prison time. I don't consider anything under 10 years hard prison time. I've done hard prison time and probably had to suck dick to not be stabbed but that recorded phone call really makes me grab my pearls i don't have pearls to grab and i don't suck dick but your daddy does you the son of a bitch literally then he goes on to say anyone want me to fix their car i don't use my name much because old gang probably Anyone want me to fix their car? I don't use my name much because my old gang probably wants to kill me, but by all means, send me money. Gang, gang. Yeah, y'all send me, y'all send that fucking money. Send that fucking money. With the old ass picture. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, y'all run them fucking donations. Low status white Christian males need to run them fucking donations right fucking now. Right fucking now. What did you say to start this? I'm guessing it's because I said I lost respect uh, for him. Not even offended. See, see this, this. I'm coming from a, a different understanding of what respect is. Let me spell it out for you people. When I say I lose respect for somebody, I lose respect for somebody as a man. What led up to me losing respect for anybody is always their own actions that they take. Um, I was always taught as a young man by my father who wasn't a faggot like Owen Benjamin's father was that respect is earned so that's something you got to earn <clears throat> so that's something you got to earn excuse me so when I see you pretend to be a pillar of morality for people when I see you put up post after post after post of Andrew Tate and criticize his brand of masculinity and then cry because he got you taken down from Instagram for harassment and then I see you do the same thing to Jim Bob and then I hear you talk about slaying wizards and that Hollywood shit and then you pull the same shit on Jim Bob I don't give a fuck about Jim Bob or his wife in all honesty shout out to made by jim bob i don't give a fuck about you or your kids or your life or your wife in all honesty shout out to you it's the interaction between you two that let me know you bitch made at heart that's why i said i lost respect for you it's not even personal but you taking it personal you take everything personal because you're emotional you let your emotions run you. This is why you don't know how to hear an opinion 
and just let this shit go. You got to talk about this shit for weeks, months, and years. You see what I'm saying? You're emotionally led on Benjamin. Um, these are bitch made traits. No, no, I'm not going to come on here and talk shit about you. I'm going to try to diagnose you. These are bitch made traits that I've seen on a lot of men that I've had to deal with up close and personal. And keep in mind, you're, you're like 55 years old, still acting like this. That's just where I'm coming from. It's not personal at all. There's nothing you can say about me to get me out of pocket. You can call me a dick sucker all you want because I've been to prison. But what you can't do is not say that your father didn't suck any dick. Your father stole money from your mom to pay the people that was trying to blackmail him. Which is probably where you learned that behavior from. Huh? And don't get mad at me for this neither. I'm a comedian. I use that liability shield the same way you do. I'm a fucking comedian. So why would you take something that a comedian says seriously? Yeah, that's all I'm saying. It ain't even got to be ain't nothing but big hugs around here. You just a bitch and I lost respect for you. It is nothing personal. That is not personal at all. That shit between you and Jim Bob, that's between you and Jim Bob. But I can gauge a man by how he reacts to certain things. That's all I'm saying. I'm not offended either. I don't give a fuck about none of that little perk that I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Yeah, that's all. And he said, he said, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, um, a grift for low status white Christian males. Even though I'm not Christian and never professed to be a Christian, unlike him. Um, I've never once on this channel said I'm a Christian. As a matter of fact, if you look at the interview I did with Freedom Inc., I let everybody know what it was with me. But I don't talk about religion because I'm here to be a comedian. See, that's one thing that Dave Chappelle knows that you don't know. Dave Chappelle is a Muslim, but he's a comedian. He doesn't go on stage with the act inspired by Islam. You can stand to learn a thing or two from Dave Chappelle. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. So shout out to that nigga. You are short though. I am. I'm five foot two. I'm five foot two. I should probably ask him, uh, on Benjamin, if you watching this, do you want to kill me? Do you want to hurt me? I ain't nothing but five foot two. Jumping on me like jumping on a toddler at this point. Your wife going to lose respect for you if you jump on me. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to nothing to lose everything the game dealing with you how bg grifting bro nigga did you not hear this nigga i am a, a a grifter for low status white christian males that is exactly what the nigga said Do you, do you even monetize the channel? Nah, I don't monetize my new videos. I respond to that shit. I said, hell yeah, send me money. Then you, if you go to that Instagram post he put up by me. I, that's all I was, I was like, hell yeah, send me money. Y'all send me money. I'm trying to get the bears that, that, that stop following you because you bitch made. I'm trying to get them to follow me because them niggas pay for shit. I want permi bear. The banker nigga that talked you into getting that land in Missouri in the first place. Hell yeah, give me money. Yeah, you can't you can't act like a bitch and then try to call me out because I say I lose respect for you. That's further proven that you are in fact moist.
Then he really took that shit personal. That boy emotional. That's an emotional little boy right there. He took he take everything personal. That boy take everything personal. He talks so much shit about everybody, but take everything fucking personal. Fucking faggot. Fucking big ass bundle of sticks. He cray. No, he gay. He gay as fuck. I tapped into that stream and he was talking about the girth of a black cock. Stop talking about dicks. Everything's a dick. Everything's squirting. Everything's a cock. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to you though, um, Ben. Shout out to um, Benjamin. Shit, ain't nothing but hugs around here. He obsessed with porn. Anyway. I've done, he said I've done hard prison time and probably had to suck dick. On Benjamin told me I done did hard prison time and probably had to suck dick to keep from getting stabbed. The nerve of this nigga that was in a hot tub naked with Steven Crowder. This nigga. The fact that you have a picture with Ben Shapiro just that just you cheesing with Ben Shapiro in the picture um I'm in the beginning of the video so just ignore my comments if they don't make sense I'm going to spend a week trying to convince everyone Batman was gay. Bro, that's the gayest person. Uh, him on that fucking, wearing that dumb, wearing that fucking leotard, uh, rubbing dicks with that small Asian boy, uh, with the Jimmy Chang, with the small Asian boy name. I'm not a Hollywood nigga, so I don't know these niggas like he do. He was were, he were touching dicks with that little Asian boy, the little comedian, Jimmy Chong or some shit. Yeah, yeah, touching dicks with Bobby Lee. On Benjamin, Theo Vaughn is funnier than you. All right? Let it go. Uh, Andrew from The Crucible is funnier than you. And he's not even a fucking comedian. Just let this shit go, son. Just move on. Let this shit go. Come up with more black jokes. The bike thief shit played out. Come up with some new material. And split your own fucking wood. Split your own wood, son. That's it. How you love Theo and not Owen. I'm just talking shit now. All he, all he talks about is Theo Vaughn. He talks about his old Hollywood gang. Like he desires to still be a part of them. Owen seems to be like the retarded kid that got kicked out of the inner circle and went over there to try to make that shit over there look cool. Which is cool to do if you don't look back and turn the salt glorifying the old shit you used to do and using that to post yourself up and be braggadocious about the shit. Fucking ranch raccoon chat taking things way too serious nah this ain't even that serious 
BG, you need to copy Owen and start the $5 a month club. I'm running a grift for low status Christian whites, according to Owen Benjamin. Run them fucking donations. I just want all the bears that like to pay for shit after this fallout between him and Jim Bob is over. The finger is a bit or what? YouTube chat scrolls itself. You talking about this shit right here? You talking about this finger right here, the ABL shit? I be poking niggas with. You talking about this shit. This shit scroll. You see my phone? I'm on this little ass Samsung Note 8. This shit itty bitty as hell. Fuck you mean? All the soft bears need to subscribe to BG ASAP. Nah, I'm just kidding about I don't want I don't need to subscribe man. Now it's too many people in here now. I'm not touching you, XD. But I'm touching you because my phone screen itty bitty as fuck. And I can't quite I got I be thumbing it, but my screen cracked the fuck and I can't. Sometimes that shit scroll too fast. I'm only seeing two comments at a time. Damn. My shit in landscape mode. BB versus BG. He's not even my equal. He on Benjamin isn't on my level. Look, on Benjamin is a son to me. I call him son not because he mine, but because he shine. Over there in the retarded corner right there. Yeah, the minute the minute you want to dig up some old shit on people that you think is giving you competition and try to use it to hold over somebody's head. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't no verse. That ain't no it ain't no verse. Hell no. Nah. He just the same wizard he be talking about on his fucking streams. Dig up some old pictures of my wife and post them shits. A double dog dare you. I don't want to drink too much Kool-Aid. He's our wizard. Nah, you need to dig up some pictures of my wife and try to hold them over me to, to stop to stop talking shit about him. You can say what you want about me. At least my wife white. At least I got a fully white wife. Your wife picked raspberries with her feet. She's a mestizo. Nah, nigga, that's a whole Mexican right there. You can, interracial, you can say all that shit you want, but at least my wife is white. I done one-upped you on that. My wife picks bananas with her feet. I got one more question, then I'm out of here. If his wife is Mexican, I'm voting her for first lady. <laughs> he didn't dig them up. They were sent. They were sent to him. He shouldn't have acknowledged them, but he did. Then Jim Bob denied they existed, so he had to share to prove he wasn't lying. Dutch Bob, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. The minute, the minute you put, listen, the minute you put somebody, I don't, I don't even care about that shit right there. It's the whole thing of how he went about it. That's that Hollywood shit that he be talking about. That's that ADL shit right there.
I don't give a fuck if the pictures were public. They were deleted. You posted them. I don't give a fuck why for. You posted them. And then proceeded to say, if you don't stop live streaming when I live stream, if you don't give me a public apology, then I'm keeping these pictures up. Like he really had something. That just show you what somebody like him capable of, what he'll do. Now, I don't give a fuck about all the little details about that shit. Is He'll do some shit like that. He did it. I don't give a fuck about Jim Bob's wife at a porn convention or any of that other shit or with the baby that had the sign that said, Pussy Power! That shit was funny as hell. Put the sign, Pussy Power! Everybody going back in the history on some shit. That shit just, I don't give a fuck about that. What's the laws for record, recording phone conversations? I don't, I don't give a fuck about that. I don't got nothing to do with that. I don't got nothing to do with that. I don't give a fuck what's lawful or what's not. A man that's moist is a man that's moist. I don't give a fuck how. I'm not Christian and I'm not low status, but I'm here. It doesn't matter. Run them fucking donations. Russell McClendon Lee, run them fucking donations. You heard the man. Send me money. I got one of the most profitable grips online. No, it was Vox Day Wife that got JB's account suspended. Space Bunny Bear. Fact. Man, fuck them facts. Did Owen Benjamin pin that comment? Why would you pin that comment? You know people seeing that going engage with it. Why you pin the comment? When that, when that boy wife came on and said, we should get him for harassment or whatever the fuck she said, on Benjamin pinned the comment. That was bitch made. That was a whole bitch made move and a great liability shield to say, I didn't actually do it. Nah, you supported it. You know they gonna see that and go over there in droves and just start flagging shit. Hey, that's all, that's all. Yo, Owen, you there? Man, Owen better leave me alone. I'm the right one. I ain't even turn up on that little nigga yet. He a little homie to me. He a boy. He a little boy. You fuck, you fucking, you fucking with somebody that doesn't care about this. You do the online shit. I don't. I do. I don't get paid for it, though. You got everything to lose. I don't have nothing to lose. I only got 60 people that watch me on average every fucking live stream for no reason. I have nothing to lose. You got properties. You crowdfunding right now for land. You got all types of shit going on. You better be careful. You better be careful. How the fuck you worried about Jim Bob killing you? He's a nigga with a Prius and jorts. Are you gonna hurt me, Jim Bob? That's what he said on the fucking phone call, fucking moist. Fucking more just like your daddy. He moist as fuck. Jim Bob, don't are you gonna try to kill me? He said that. To Jim Bob, a nigga like Jim Bob. Are you are you gonna try to don't try to hurt me, Jim Bob? It's Jim fucking Bob. Fucking more you big for nothing ass nigga. Just a big for nothing ass nigga. Just moist. Just fucking Roy Rogers biscuit moist. Don't try to hurt me, Jim Bob. It's Jim Bob, the nigga with the tiny hands and the soft hands with the specs doing jewelry and making cartoon. You're scared of cartoonists. You were threatened by a cartoonist. You told the nigga not to stream the same time you were streaming. 
you're moist. I don't even give a fuck about the other, the wife, the dog. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. It's what you did. You're moist. That's why I said I'm not offended. I just lost respect for you. I don't get offended. Yeah, I don't get offended. Why are you saying these holy crap? Where's the regular 50 peeps? Can't find them in the crowd. Yeah, I got one more question. I got one more question. He's scared of the consequence. Man, this nigga, oh, he's scared of big words. He can't fuck with me. Nah, you can't, you can't, you can't fuck with me. You don't even know what hermeneutics is. You don't even know how to say it. Hell no. Anyway, yeah, that's all I had to say. I ain't talking about shit for real. This oak wood right here. Oh yeah, I already showed y'all the difference between white oak and red oak. This scarlet oak, which is in the red oak group. I done finished that wall right there. That's my western wall, the northern wall. And I'm about to start some down here on these pallets and stack it right there. Yep, yeah, that's about it. Have you ever tried gunpowder splitting? I did that many times and it was epic. Nah, man, I got a log split. I ain't doing all that. Whoa, why is there so peeps in here you broke the record i don't know where all these niggas came from it's like 300 people in here it's because owen benjamin called me a, a dick sucker he said i probably had to suck dick because i did hard time i had to suck dick to keep gangs from stabbing me and jumping on me he got me confused for his father how you talking all you can't talk shit if your father was a bitch all that fake ass honor culture shit honor culture fucking honor culture savage i'm the honorable savage your dad was a bitch you the descendant of a bitch your dad a whole hoe out here in these streets. Your dad a whole Jesse Smollett out here in these streets. Your dad a whole Lil Nas X out here in these streets. You need to stop talking about dick, boy. You act like you fighting something. Stop projecting your homosexual urges on the other people. You did de you descend from a whole little Nas X out here. He Bear K Garage probably had to suck dick in prison to keep to keep the gangs. As your dad is Lil Nas X, Jesse Smollett. Fucking homosexual. No wonder you talk about dick so much.
And I'm not your friend neither on everybody, everybody on the table, your wife, everybody. I go with kids, wives, cousins, mommies, aunties, nigga, you don't want that smoke. If we not friend, ain't no, don't, just don't do family. Nah, fuck all that. I do everything. I do everything. Beating on that big ass boy, not even fun though. Everybody been jumping on, on. That shit not even fun. He's fucking played the fuck out. Uh, when I wanted beef, I was talking about with someone like Steven Crowder. Uh, <laughs> Joe Rogan or somebody. Everybody you looked up to was a father figure. Because your daddy was a bitch. That way you run around, Joe Rogan, you got videos of that nigga talking about Joe Rogan was an alpha male. Joe Rogan was your alpha. Your brother was your alpha. Steven Crowder was your alpha. You just a boy looking for a father. Because your daddy was a bitch. And you the son of a whore. I talk about everybody. And I'm a hide behind being a comedian. I'm just a fucking comedian. I'm going to do you like how you be doing. I'm a fucking comedian. Don't take this shit personal. Your dad a bitch and you the son of a whore. Don't take it personal. I'm a comedian. Hands up, don't shoot. My dad was in my life. You, I don't know about you. You were raised by two moms. <laughs> this nigga was raised by two moms. You might as well have been raised by Pete Booty Judge and his partner. Set up a BG club and let all the Owen haters line up. Hell no, if anything, I'll grift the Owen haters. But you can't deny, he is a bitch. That's a big, tall-ass bitch, too. He an easy mark. A big, tall-ass, ranch raccoon-ass nigga right there. <laughs> the son of a whore. Your daddy can't even be proud of you, your, his son, because you was out. He was out there sucking dick. Guys, my dad sucked a lot of dicks, and he stole a hundred thousand dollars from my mom. Your mama sure know how to pick him, boy. Just a big for no reason, ass nigga. Not Santy's where he gonna get this work. He gonna get this work for no reason, cause I just be bored. I don't be doing shit, I be back here splitting wood. I don't be doing shit. <laughs> Fuck else I'm gonna do? Hell no, nah. I ain't got nothing else to do. Talk shit about him. Whenever I move to do so, this is gonna be an ongoing thing. Why did you go to prison? For malicious wounding? Before one of you niggas try to dig that shit up? It wasn't no weird shit. I stabbed the shit out of somebody. That's it. That's it. I got 11 years for that shit. Everything suspended except four years and eight months. I did four years and eight months in the penitentiary. That is not hard time. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna find nothing out about me that I don't tell y'all myself. There is nothing for a nigga like Owen to try to hold over a nigga head. And I'm funnier than him, too. He ain't gonna do nothing but give you them same three jokes. He ain't gonna do... You know how unoriginal Asian dog-eating jokes are? 
You know how played that shit was played out in the 2000s. You can't come up with anything better than your, your Asian wife eats dog. Then you double down on that shit. You ever heard somebody just tell a bad joke? And that shit just bomb and they continue? And you just like, ah. The shit was over, it never really started. But they keep going and going. It's a fucking retard. But funny needs a club, BG. Nah, I keep watching on Benjamin. Nah, don't watch me. Don't watch me. I'm not going to daddy you. I'm not going to try to be a father figure like that nigga is. I have to protect you from Andrew Tate. Because I, I liked Andrew Tate, but he didn't shout me out. Andrew Tate didn't shout me out. Yeah, that whole shit with Andrew Tate was because he didn't shout you out, nigga. You said you loved Andrew Tate. Then that nigga blew up and didn't shout you the fuck out and you got upset. Like an aggravated ex-wife. And just put post after post after post on this nigga. I'm posting about him again. Everybody come look. I gotta protect you. Who from Andrew Tate. It's Andrew Tate. He has toxic masculinity. My masculinity? A farm. I have a fucking farm, bro. I have a fucking farm, bro. I don't split my own firewood or shovel my own driveway. But I have a fucking farm, dude. Dude, my fucking farm? It's not a farm, it's a homestead. He would go in debt if niggas stopped sending him money. I have a fucking farm. My fucking farm? I have a cow. I have a big ass cow. Look, it's a fucking cow, dude. <laughs> Beer K Garage is running a grift, a grift for low level white Christians. <laughs> Where the fuck these niggas at? I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> now, near one of these low level white Christians put money in my skid steer fund. I had to get a skid steer myself on Benjamin because that's what men do. See, I didn't crowdfund for it. Hmm? And before buying the second plot of land, I would sell the first plot of land that everybody donated to to fund the next land venture. That's just called common sense, common decency. But no, everybody got to reinvest in some new shit while I keep this shit. That nigga talked all that shit about North Idaho and them folk don't even like him up there. They treat on Benjamin like a nigger. They treat that boy like a nigger. On Benjamin, you really are a low IQ nigger. His neighbors don't even like him. What in the fuck? Your neighbors went to the zoning commission on you, nigga, for real? Really? It's because of propaganda. Nah, they don't like you, boy. They don't like you, boy. You just a boy. How the fuck you don't even get respect in your own area? You gotta start some new shit in Missouri. Nah, sell that old shit. Sell the old shit since that shit dead and the neighbors ain't shit up there and fund, and fund the new shit in Missouri yourself. Nah, I do it like that. But you're moist. You don't really know how to work for shit. You just another Hollywood nigga. You just another product of Hollywood. Never put air in your fucking tire until you were 55. You are old man. You are old, you are old boy. They can't stop talking about cocks. I had to work hard for everything I got back here on Benjamin. That skid steer, my audience didn't pay for that. That Z mower, my audience didn't pay for that. My pickup truck, my audience didn't pay for that. This place, this land, my audience didn't pay for this. That 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 uh the gator, I ain't pay for that shit.
No, I'm a fucking man, and men do what men do. Men work. You just a jobless ass nigga, just begging for shit. Want somebody to send you money for shit. I'ma just talk all cash shit now. I'ma just talk all the shit in the world. Just begging. I worked at the tree service with my brother. Yeah, cause you don't know how to operate a chainsaw. He had you dragging shit out the way your big dumbo ass was gonna cut yourself. Fucking low IQ retard. Your mama had to come on the stream. <laughs> Oh, Benjamin had to get his mama on the stream to tell everybody he got 147. He had his best special boy. Hey, his mama had to hold him on the fucking. You are my sunshine. You make me happy when times are great. Tell him about my 147 IQ, mom. My last special boy got 100 for you. All the special boy. You are the special boy. You talk so much shit about. This nigga really do think he's special. <laughs> this is a special brand of ranch raccoon right here. <laughs> you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. I have my mom on if I was a streamer. Not to tell everybody how smart that she think I am. Imagine me getting my mama up here, Mama BG. And y'all, he's really smart. Imagine me telling y'all every day how smart I am. I think people will start to question whether or not I'm really smart. I tell you what, I really don't think he that smart. Because he got to reconfirm it every five minutes. Smart people just don't do that. Guys, I'm really intelligent. I'm really intelligent. Guys, I'm really super smart. <laughs> I'm smart. I'm smarter than rim job. Then how come you don't know what hermeneutics mean? How come you don't know what internal critique mean? How the fuck you gonna make low IQ nigger jokes and you don't even know how to spell? That's why I called him an overgrown ranch raccoon. That nigga don't know how to spell, but he making all the low IQ nigga jokes in the world. Just all the low IQ nigga jokes. Can't spell, can hardly write. Just a big for nothing ass nigga that never did any, any type of work in his fucking life. Except be on a fucking commercial and whatever fucking movie he was in. I, he's known best for marrying Christine Ricci. The little small chick with the forehead, you see the picture of Owen Benjamin standing next to Christine Ricci. It looked like he was marrying a toddler. You overgrown ranch raccoon. You big bitch. You big back wet back. Fucking mutated ice lizard. He's sitting there holding hands with Christine Ricci. Walking down the boulevard, looked like he was he was trying to hold his toddler. Come here. BG, you done gone ortho, bro? Hell no, nah, I'm not an ortho. I don't use my religion to try to virtue signal for followers. Yeah, yeah, all that good, true, and beautiful shit, and God this, just peppering a little bit of Jesus. Just pepper it in. Good, true, and beautiful. And just... Just Emerald Lagasse. A little bit of Jesus talk. And... I'm, I try to live a Christ-like life! Yeah, then you can tap into people's emotions and manipulate them and twist them. Get them going in the direction you want them to go in. That shit is like putting a thumb up somebody's butt. You can control how they move. fucking ranch raccoon the good the true and the beautiful define that define that yeah i don't think supporting getting somebody's channel uh stricken like that is good true and beautiful i don't think touching dicks with bobby lee and speedos is good true and beautiful 
I don't think being naked in a hot tub with Steven Crowder is good, true, and beautiful. I don't think taking any type of picture with Ben Shapiro is good, true, or beautiful. I really don't. And since you want to bring up people's past, like Jim Bob's wife, let's bring up the past. Your dad a bitch. Now nah, fuck your past. Who you descended from? A whole hoe out here in these streets. Soon as your mama leave to go to where and your mama was Jesuit trained. I heard that ignorant shit. My mom was Jesuit trained and your daddy was a communications director at a fucking university. Or some weird goofy gay shit like that. You just all fucked from childbirth. You just fucked from the start. Your daddy was a bitch and your mom married him. Now your mom in on this too now. Cause she married the faggot. Your dad sitting there suppressing homosexual urges. The marriage on mama. Yet you always judge somebody on, on, on what type of man they are by how many kids they had. Your daddy had two sons. He was still a bitch. So having kids don't mean nothing. You the same way too, boy. You be trying to fight them homosexual urges. That's why all you talk about is dicks. You got it from your daddy. Your daddy taught you well. And what your daddy couldn't teach you, Hollywood taught you the rest. I got one more question. And then I'm out. Uh, Merch from Revenge of the Sis is funnier than you on Benjamin. Uh, Made by Jim Bob is funnier than you on Benjamin. Steven Crowder is funnier than you on. I'm talking all types of shit. Ben Shapiro is funnier than you on Benjamin. My mama is funnier than you. Your daddy little faggot ass running around here in the speedo with a thong on is funnier than you. The nigga that was extorting your daddy and blackmailing him was funnier than you. Your wife's father, the one that left her ass at birth, is funnier than you. Dave Chappelle funnier than you. Blair White funnier than you. Alex Jones is funnier than you. Michael Ryan is funnier than you. I'm funny. I'm the funniest comedian in the world. How the fuck you the funniest comedian in the world and you not funnier than me? Pick any fucking clip and let's do a clip. <laughs> I was going to say let's do a clip off. Pick any fucking clip. Any clip you have and put it up against one of my clips. I need an unbiased audience. Any skit. Any skit where you're not talking about cocks. Fake ass, truth ass nigga. Old fake ass. The earth is 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 flat and the P90 camera and then don't even know. I don't know how electricity works. When the lights go out, my wife has to flip the switch on the breaker box because I don't know about any of that. I don't know nothing about anything for real. I just watch a whole lot of Paul from Pockets and I watch a lot of, uh, 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 and then I regurgitate it. You get everything you talk about from Paul from Pockets and, and Ice Age Farmer and uneducated economists and the bears. You don't have an original thought in your head, boy. You fucking basement dwelling bitch 
you fucking retarded child. Owen Benjamin was the overgrown retarded child with the club foot that your mama should have kept in the basement. You done picked up your father's homosexuality, boy. Now, Owen Benjamin is 55 years old and has never put air in a fucking tire before. You can't preach masculinity to me or any other young adult for that matter. I'm going to protect you from Owen Benjamin. Well, then they Andrew Tate. I'm protecting the youth from Andrew Tate because his brand of masculinity is toxic. You can't show young men how to be young men because your daddy was a bitch and you have no actual skills. You just have people that pay you. You have people that give you money. But you yourself, you're not shit. You're just a talker. You see what I'm doing right now? I'm talking. I do this shit for free. Why? Because I'm a fucking man. I make my money the old-fashioned way. Something your punk-ass daddy should have taught you. You got everything to lose fucking with me. Don't know how to do a damn thing. Except raise money. Bertaria is in your hearts. It's in your hearts. <laughs> Suck on this yogurt now. Fucking yo plate. Fucking ranch raccoon. You fucking albino woodchuck. Fuck, sitting up in the camera with that flush face looking like a palliated woodpecker. Corvinius Maximilius face ass. This stream turned bitter real quick. You think this better? You, you, you think this better? Me talking shit about Owen Benjamin is bitter. How come you don't say that when he talks shit about Steven Crowder? How come he's not bitter when he talks shit about Steven Crowder and Theo Vaughn and all them other niggas? Just read the chat, BG. Fuck my chat. Go look at his comment section under that Instagram post. Yeah, well, I don't give a fuck what the chat saying about that nigga. I don't give a fuck about him. Fuck him. I don't care. Why the fuck I'm going to care what my chat say about him? Does he give a fuck what his chat say about me? No. Yeah, I'm not Jim Bob. Nah, you want to slug it out? We can slug it out. Hey, you can we can slug it out. Owen crying right now. That's all that big bitch know how to do. He cried after the de he cried after the debate with Jim Bob. I'm not even a Trinitarian, but damn, damn, you got embarrassed. You got embarrassed and then cried and then cried in the stream the next day. I am close to God because because I understand things at a sixth grade level. Oh, retarded IEP having ass nigga. And the nerve of your mama to come on the stream and tell the audience that you are actually intelligent. Just explain everything to me like I read on a fifth grade level. Ass nigga, I can't believe that was actually a request that came out of your mouth. I'm, you can't, I don't, you can't use these big words. Jim Bob, these words you're using are too big. The gamma, the gamma hive on Jim Bob. Everybody else got a gamma hive but you. Everybody else. He, he talks shit about anybody. No one ever calls that shit a gamma hive when they just be going on niggas in the comment section. But soon as a nigga say something about him, it's a gamma hive, a gamma, a girl, fuck it, there's a gamma, a gamma, a gamma, grandma, grandma, gamma, banana gamma. I'm just a ranch raccoon. <laughs> fuck, fuck it. 
fucking somebody put a pitchfork in his head. Tell him get to work. Fucking faggot. Owen did this to Nah, shout out to Owen Benjamin though. I ain't even mad at him. This shit just fun for me. Like he took he took it there. He took it the Jim Bob wasn't enough. When I talk shit about you, you need to let that shit go and take the constructive criticism as constructive criticism. But he took it to heart like a true bitch. Like 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 he really moist. Really extremely moist. That's why he don't know how to deal with hecklers. That's why he just hit the band button. Band. He hit the band button. Don't know anything about what he talking about. Soon as somebody try to come on, bam. That fucking gamma hive, you don't know how to control it. You don't know how to check it. You don't know how to deal with hecklers. If you was on a stage and somebody did gamma behavior, what would you do? Cry like a little bitch? Or dig up an old picture from their past and threaten to hold it over them until they stop heckling you? You're not a fucking comedian. You're an activist. You're a social justice warrior. You want to protect everybody from everything but you. This nigga is like the fox in the hen house pointing out foxes outside the hen house. Look, the fox. There's a fox right there, though. And this fox. Hey, yeah, nigga, what about you, though? Yeah, Owen Benjamin has nothing to offer anybody outside of that good, true, and beautiful shit. I don't give a fuck about anybody you inspired. I don't give a fuck. You know how many families I have brought together? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You know how many families Karl Marx brought together? You know how many people Anthony Fauci inspired? Yeah, don't give me that. I've created families with my community. I've inspired people. Bill Gates inspires people. I don't want to hear that shit. You, you're moist. You're a bitch. Man to man. You're soft. You're, you're, you're soft, son. No amount of kids you have can make up for it. You soft. You can't fuck that gay away. Your homosexual thoughts is catching up to you. And you lashing out at everybody. Fucking homo. You fucking sodomite. That nigga's not even a sodomite. He's a Gomorramite after the order of your father. People forget it wasn't just Sodom. It was Sodom and Gomorrah. Owen Benjamin's dad was a Gomorramite. The book of Numbers chapter 1 verse 18 says you are after the house of your father. You fucking Gomorramite. You fucking faggot. You fucking bundle of sticks. You fucking ranch raccoon. You palliated woodpecker. You albino gopher. You fucking woodchuck. You fucking blue jay that seen this small hat in the shadow which signifies spring started two weeks ago ass nigga. I, I know how to farm. I'm a farmer. You have no value whatsoever. Guys, if you people keep talking about me in the live chat, then I won't stream for long because I just get my feelings hurt, even though I'm supposed to be a comedian. I'm supposed to be a comedian and just you people just hurt my feelings. Oh, soft ass nigga closing down comment sections. You a bit, you bitch made. You bitch made, boy. I got one more question left. I got two more minutes left. That palliated woodpecker up there agrees with me. Owen's wife just turned into a pillar of salt. I don't give a fuck about that little boy wife. He want kudos for his wife doing shit that a wife is supposed to do. And Amy's not special. That's what a woman's supposed to do. 
You want brownie points for that? Because you a fucking faggot. He does idolize his wife too much. He uh, he puts his family out there to hide behind them. And then say that Jim Bob hiding behind his family. That's what people like on Benjamin big back bitch ass do. They put images of their family out there. Good, true, and beautiful. You see their kids and that's supposed to absolve them of any criticism. I have kids. I have, I have a wife. Look at my wife. Look at my life. My fruits. Those false ass fruits. The apple don't fall far from the tree and you a bitch. You a hoe. You a whole whore out here in Daisy Dukes. Your wife know it. Try to hide behind your family. The good, true, and the beautiful. Oh, Benjamin inspired me. He inspired me to, to, he inspired me to find a wife that beat your ass. Your wife beat your ass. You don't, you, I don't give a fuck who that boy inspired. He's just a little bitch. Mike Tyson inspires people. But Mike Tyson told a white boy he'll eat his asshole and, and fuck him until his kids love him. Yeah, but Mike Tyson inspired a whole lot of people. Yeah, don't hit me with that. He inspires people, though. Nah, fuck him. Hey, Owen Benjamin, I'm, I'm a comedian. So if you get butt hurt about this shit, you're moist. I'm just a fucking comedian for legal reasons. For legal purpose, I had in case I go to court, I can use this as a liability shield. Apparently, I'm a convicted felon. I'm a fucking convict. You already made your mind up about me. I'm just a convict. That's okay. I made my mind up about you. You're your father's son. You your daddy boy. You a bitch. Don't ever jump on the phone. I put I tell you put your wife on the phone. She wear the pants in that relationship. Your wife wear the pants in that relationship. You can't you need to stop telling people that you want Sharia law too. That shit sounds stupid as fuck. And you know Amy will beat your ass you try to get her to put a head covering on. We need, we need Sharia law. We need Sharia law. Your wife will beat your ass for trying to get her to put a head covering on. She run that shit. I'm not a cock. I'm not a cock. I am so not a cock. But you're a palliated woodpecker. You're a, a street hooker after the order of your father. Now you talking smack, DG? Hell yeah, that's all I ever been doing. When have I not talked smack? I don't give a fuck just because it's on Benjamin. Hell no. Nah. You know how many people I talk shit about Amanda Vollmer. Her prices for her product is too fucking high. What the fuck was people talking about I was, I'm talking smack when I said that shit? When I said what I said about raging dissident? When I said what I said about Tom McDonald, when I said what I said about Salty Cracker, when I said what I said about Officer Tatum, when I said what I said about High Impact Flicks. But I talk that shit. This a hobby for me. This my fucking hobby. I'm not like these other niggas. They do this shit for money. It's, it's for this play play for me. When I cut this, when I cut this camera off, I go to fuck his, I chill out and watch a fucking movie. Yeah, I, I cut this shit off. I go, I'm with my family. And I'm getting on the grill today. Again. Yeah, I got a smoker. Nah, I'm about to smoke some rainbow trout. And some ranch raccoon. Because that little nigga out of pocket. Do people get wet on Owen hate? That depends. Does Owen get wet on Steven Crowder hate? Does Owen get wet on Steven Crowder hate?
And I'm still, and I still got my bear name. I'm still Pander Bear. Yeah, send them, send them, send them donation. Run them, run that shit. All you low IQ, uh, uh, low quality Christian white folk. Run them fucking donations like Owen Benjamin said. You heard that nigga. Send me that fucking money. Yeah, the grift is real. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking Panda Bear. You can't just talk shit about somebody and then and then call somebody else to talk shit about you. A fucking gamma. Or, or say they get wet on hate. Does talking shit about uh, uh, Jim Bob get Owen wet on hate? He been talking about Jim Bob for the whole week. How come you don't say he's wet on hate towards Jim Bob? How come it's only when somebody says something about Owen Benjamin, big soft ass, big huggy bear ass? Oh, I got pieces left behind. Charming bear looking ass. How come nobody says that shit about him when he does this shit? I'm a fucking comedian. You're not supposed to take me seriously. But he'll say some shit like that. I'm a comedian. You shouldn't take me seriously. And then proceed to talk seriously about theology for a whole year. You fucking faggot, you Jesuit trained faggot. You homosexual bear sting bear. Hey Ernie, hey bird ass nigga. Oh big bird ass nigga. Radiated ranch raccoon ass nigga. Run with the KY jelly like my father taught me ass nigga. Nah, don't tell no, nah, don't get no, nah, don't do that. This shit fun to me. It's business to him, though. That's why I say he not on my level. He has to get his money to fulfill his obligation for that land. If people start leaving him now, he can't do that. Because he doesn't actually have any value as a man himself. If everybody stopped sending that nigga donations, he couldn't afford his little homestead. Them cows would have to get sold. And guys, if you stop, I will stop streaming and I will make cheese. He threatened you niggas with cheese making. Literally. If you guys don't stop talking about me, I can just make cheese. I don't even have to live stream. Make cheese then, nigga. Go ahead and make cheese. He's done that cheese threat more than once. Boy, that every time that when you tap in, he always talking about he, he'll stop doing something if y'all don't comply with his wishes and demands. Stop talk. I'm a comedian that's really funny, but just stop talking about me and don't come after me because I don't I can't really because you guys, I will just make cheese. I don't even have to stream. I don't need to. I have a lot of businesses going on where I really don't do shit. Other people do it for me. Vox Day is my daddy. I don't need you guys. All I need is Vox Day and Coddington Bear. You fucking faggot. Fuck you and anybody who riding with you. <laughs> As Tupac hit him up plays softly in the background. Hold on, I'm gonna read the shit again. This this what he wrote about me on his Instagram. Being spelling 33. I'm gonna I'm gonna read it again. He posted a picture of me. And he said, "I'm Barricade Garage. I'm a convicted violent felon, gangbanger, and probably a snitch." I'm going to act offended by Owen Benjamin making fun of Jim Bob's wife, even though I more than likely have actually killed people. I run a grift for low status white Christians. So to keep my grift going, 
I'm going to talk street even though I'm probably a snitch and pretend the same things offend me that offend my cuck audience. I've done hard prison time and probably had to suck dick to not be stabbed, but that recorded phone call really makes me grab my pearls. Anyone want me to fix their car? I don't use my name much because my old gang probably wants to kill me, but by all means, send money, gang, gang. So that's what he wrote about me. So that's all I'm responding to. Yeah, now it's just open season on him. Yeah, he's been initiated. Yeah, he's officially on my radar. <clears throat> BG makes his own money. Look at the book. Man. It, it ain't even about that. It ain't, it ain't even about who makes their own money or who makes... He make more money than me. That ain't even a thing. He get people to send him money. People send him money. People just send the nigga money. Yeah, he, he make more money than me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just talking cash shit now about him though. Yeah, that's all this is. This, this shit not even all that serious. I follow him for years, but never send him money. Talk more. Hell no, I'm about to get I got two minutes left. seen a video where he got it drip drip out of his nose I don't give a fuck nothing, nothing about that shit I ain't got nothing to do with that I don't give a fuck what substance nigga he's on Adderall I don't give a fuck what that nigga on yeah he gonna get slaughtered like a fucking the, the heifer he is I don't give a fuck what drug he was on what the fuck he was thinking <laughs> that boy fucking with somebody that ain't got nothing to lose I'm Pander Bear. You don't fuck with me. I'm the nigga you hear talking shit about you and you just go on about your fucking business. Don't give me no limelight. You don't want that. You should have just left that shit alone. Or said some little sly shit in one of your fucking live streams. Yeah, you made a whole post about me. Every all your whole family can get the can get the business. Yeah, try to dig up some old shit on me and, and post that shit. And then threaten... I'm going to just talk shit about you. I'm going to talk shit. That's going to be on... I'm going to talk shit about him, Oakwood, uh, 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 Skid Steers, the need for a tractor and track loader. The tractor has to have a belly mower, a front-end loader, and a rear-end tiller. But I prefer to have a fucking backhoe on it. Yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about from now on. Yeah, this is the perfect way to end White History Month. With a homosexual ranch raccoon uh, offloading his homosexuality thoughts onto another person. I'm having homo feelings again. Time to tell somebody they suck dick. Three y'all. I'm on the big riff. You, JB, BB, open season. Let them fly. This ain't got nothing to do with Jim Bob. Jim Bob, I don't. It's Jim Bob. I can't. He said, Owen Benjamin told Jim Bob, it was like, Jim Bob, don't try to kill me. He's threatened by a guy with tiny hands that drives a Prius. Jim Bob drives a Prius. I know my cars, people. He drives a fucking Prius. Yeah, don't, don't, don't yeah, the pre, he, he drives a fucking Prius. You don't talk shit about the Prius driver. Nah, you talk shit about the Chevy Silverado driver. Yeah, I'm where it's at. 
Yeah. Yeah. The honor culture. Roll it. Yeah, I really, I, I'm, I really roll around in the mud. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really roll around in the mud. And I don't have that Christian liability shield in front of me neither. No, this is just man to man, toe to toe. You just a whole bitch out here and I don't respect you. I got one more minute left. And I know I said I had two more minutes left 20 minutes ago. But I got one more minute left. People don't know how to beef anymore. This ain't even beef. This ain't even, this ain't, this, no, this ain't, this ain't what this is. I'm a comedian. I'm supposed to talk shit about people. That is my ultimate liability shield. Now I'm gonna do the same shit Owen Benjamin does. I'm a fucking comedian. Why would you take me seriously? His dad is a faggot. You the son of a bitch. And your mom married him. These jokes. Ah, uh, he can he can roll around the internet saying Jim Bob wife eats dog because she's Asian, which she doesn't. But his dad is literally a faggot. They stole over a hundred thousand dollars from his mom because he had to pay people that were blackmailing him to expose his secret about being a faggot. This is who Owen Benjamin descends from. But I'm a comedian though. No, I'm a comedian. He said he thinks I'm offended because he was talking shit about Jim Bob wife. I don't give a fuck about Jim Bob wife. I don't give a fuck about that. Hell no. Nah. I just wanted you to say my fucking name so I could let you have all eight cylinders. Yeah, that's it. Hey, you just a whole ass bitch out here. I don't respect you. Yeah, hey, I've been waiting for a nigga to talk shit about me. I've been waiting for that shit. Why did you go on, on Benjamin's channel in the first place? This on Instagram where he posted this. When you on Instagram, people tag you. So I get a notification on my phone about what somebody said about me when he posted it. He put my name in the post. So that already alerted. You know how notifications work. When somebody puts your name in something on Instagram, Instagram going to let you know this person tagged you. He wanted me to see it. Yeah, I don't just go perusing on a nigga channel. I'm rarely on Instagram. I get the notifications though. I really don't post much on there, but yeah, he wanted me to see it. So in, in turn, he, he wanted this. This is what he wanted. What did Big Bear do to you? What did Big Bear do to you this time? Owen has never made apologies for his father. I don't give a fuck about that boy father. His father's just a faggot. Listen, when you talking shit about somebody, you use whatever is at your disposal. He descends from a homosexual. You get the picture. I don't give a fuck. This ain't got nothing to do with morality. Who's trying to be righteous? Who wants to be factual? He's a faggot. He's a flaming hot Cheeto. He's a honey nut Cheerio.
He's a ranch raccoon from the city of Sodom. If Owen didn't tell you about all that stuff and made it public, this all the shit he said. I'm just putting it in a different perspective, in a different context. That's it. I still think it's worse supporting abortion when your husband's going against abortion in the same month. I don't give a fuck about Jim Bob. Steve Slide, you understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? I don't give a fuck about Jim Bob. I don't give a fuck about what he had going on with Jim Bob. I, I've been lost respect for Owen Benjamin. I just, in that phone call, he did everything that he claims he's against. I don't give a fuck about how moist Jim Bob sounded. I don't give a fuck about Owen Benjamin cussing out that man's wife. I'm not offended. I lost respect for a man due to his actions. This has nothing to do with how he was talking to Jim Bob's wife. He's just a bitch and I see where he gets it from. He get it from his daddy. It's what he did. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And for somebody that says they're a comedian, and for somebody that rails against Hollywood for doing the shit that he on that phone call was trying to do to Jim Bob, nah, I don't have no respect for you. I don't have no respect for you. Why should I respect him enough? I don't give a fuck about what Jim Bob did or what Jim Bob wife. I don't give a fuck if she actually eats dogs. Nah, this is about on um, Benjamin. Yeah, this is about on um, Benjamin. That's why I said fuck him and anybody riding with him. You see what I'm saying? You get the picture now. Yeah, on um, Benjamin, I never been to need, but I try to get other people to do it. Jim Bob, you need to make me a public apology. That nigga sounded like the ADL. He sounded like the anti-defamation league. I don't give a fuck about what the content. He said, anytime you try to. Nah, I don't respect you. No sacred cows except for me. Hell nah, he a whole heifer. He a whole heifer. Fuck his sacred cows. He a whole heifer. Yeah, he, he a whole heifer. He's a, he, he a whole heifer calling for Sharia law. Don't even know what the fuck it is. He a whole heifer out here in these streets. His, his, his wife would beat his ass trying to make him put on a hijab. That's a good bunch of wood. Thanks. This would never have happened if Jim Bob... This would never have happened if Jim Bob didn't say the pictures were blatant lies. No, this would never have happened if Jim Bob never said the word hermeneutics. That shit shut down that little boy brain function. On some Westworld shit, he ceased all motor function. That nigga just stopped and spazzed out. Jim Bob, you fucked up. You should have never said hermeneutics. Don't use big words around that nigga. He's fucking retarded. He wants you to talk to him like he's in the fifth grade. I got one more minute, then I'm out. Yeah, this ain't got nothing to do with, oh, he's lying about this. Ain't got nothing to do with the pictures. Nah, just like how he came at me, he texted Jim Bob like, yo, let's have this Trinity debate. Knowing you don't know how to spell, don't know how to read, don't know how to write. You don't know what words mean. 
That way your mom just came on the lab. She said, he's my special boy. He has 147 IQ or something like that, baby. I was drinking or started too close to the microwave. Maybe hey, just hop. I don't know. He's, he's intelligent. I tell you that. See, guys, you heard it from my mom. She told you how intelligent I was. I'm intelligent. I'm really intelligent. I'm really fucking intelligent. I got, I got one more question. Why so angry? Did you tell him that when he posted that shit about me? When he was talking shit about me? Did you did you tell Owen Benjamin why so angry when he said barricade garage? Uh all black men do is beat their wife. Did you put that up there? Did you say why so angry about that? Yeah, this isn't this. This isn't angry. I make my eyes look like this. I'm a comedian for comedic effect. Ah! Hey. Yeah, don't hit me with that. Don't do that. I got 20 seconds left. Did he hit you with the bike song? The bike song was funny. I like the bike song. I like the beat. I don't know where you got that beat from. That shit was funny. Like the first 10 times I heard it. But he a one trick pony. He doesn't know how to grow. Yeah, hey, Owen Benjamin a one trick pony. That's all he know how to do is tell the same jokes and make cheese. That's it. Who is the truthers? Anyway, I'm out. I got 10 seconds. Man, look, I got 10 seconds left. I got this big dumbass battery pack out here. My shit was dying. I seen that shit one of the... <laughs> I'm about to get the fuck up out of here. I got... I'll answer one more question. Keep the video up. Oh, this shit ain't going nowhere. Yeah, this shit ain't going nowhere. Who said something about the onesie? Damn right I got the onesie. Fuck you mean? I'm out here profiling this shit. Fuck you mean? Fuck you mean? Onesie power. Fuck you mean? I gotta zip my shit up. Fuck you mean? Nigga, just profiling this bitch. Just stand, just post up somewhere. And just be doing like this. You should be the one making peace, not adding to the drama. Why the fuck would I make peace? Get them hater views they don't last long yeah fuck peace fuck on benjamin and anybody riding real uh the hater views don't last. fuck the hater views i'm on here i'm like look i don't give a fuck about views that's on benjamin shit that's what he does i don't do that the john witherspoon onesie hell yeah Alright, I'm out.
Yeah, I don't make peace. I ain't got shit better to do when I live stream. Except talk about oak wood, different types of oak wood. And how moist that nigga Owen Benjamin is. Then proceed to talk about white oak wood. And how much of a bitch Owen Benjamin father is. Then proceed to talk about red oak wood. That's it. Owen the ranch raccoon Gamora might. Hell yeah. Somebody should make that a fucking meme. You fucking Gamora might. Owen needs to forgive his trans piano T. Owen was surrounded by kitty diddlers. That boy piano teacher was a faggot. He said his little town he grew up in Oswego was filled with nothing but faggots and pedophiles. His daddy was a faggot. His daddy was running around sucking dudes dicks and getting pumped in the butt. Dumpster pumping. He got dumpster pumped. And stole over a hundred thousand dollars from his mama. That that boy on Benjamin act like he been touched. And he just carry around those fucking feelings with him his whole fucking life. And tries to overcompensate by having kids and putting his family. I got a family. I got a, a man that doesn't have kids. Is gay. He wants to tell you what's gay and what's not. He doesn't even know what an oil filter looks like. But he wants to tell you what's gay and what's not. Yeah, Hollywood taught him well. And, and his homosexual daddy taught him well too. That boy ain't got nothing to offer. Wood come from a grocery store. Oh, this? Hell yeah. I tell you what, if this came from a grocery store, this was a big cart. This was a little big cart right here. Since I got all the Owen haters in here, I know y'all ain't going to be here next week. Because unlike Owen, I'm not retarded enough to just keep talking about the same shit every fucking day. This shit already got old to me. So I'm going to let y'all know this shit now. I'm a grown ass man who does his own work. I don't get paid from YouTube. I don't get paid from my subscribers. Every piece of equipment I have back here, I didn't have over a year and a half ago. I had to hustle for this. I always talk about different ways to hustle. I'm pro truck and trailer. As long as you got a trailer, you got a way to make money. I don't give a fuck if it's a 5x8, a 6x12, by 6.5x16. By There's a way to make money. You can do junk removal, all types of shit. I really love oak. My name is BG, a.k.a. Panda Bear, a.k.a. Professor Oak. A.K.A. fuck Owen and anybody riding with him. Alright. Yeah, that, that, that's who I am. And I fix cars. Which is what Owen Benjamin was talking about in his post when he was trying to diss me. So I'm a mechanic. I was a fleet mechanic, a mobile mechanic. Now I'm in the wood. I do the wood thing. I still do the mechanic thing. I work on heavy equipment. Other than the little bullshit on putting that dumbass post, there's nothing he can actually say about me. Because I'm more of a man than he will ever be. So he can't outman me. I actually work. And not just a little play play shit when the camera's cut on or to tell you people that I milk goats.
I understand why Owen has a fondness for playing with goat tits. The little cow udders. You love pulling on them, don't you? You your daddy's son, boy. Alright, that's just to let y'all know. You fucking with a real one. I'm already over this shit, though. I'm out.